AI is taking over the world, which is why today ChatGPT is attempting to recreate the game Fruit Ninja. It will provide us with every line of code and our only task is to give it orders. Firstly, we try to create the game assets with Dolly, an AI that creates pictures. But the servers were fried as usual, so we went back to manual labor and created them by ourselves. We not only have fruits but also the sliced version so we had to make them as well. We went for like a simplistic style and I mean they aren't that terrible right? And we drew the bomb as well. The next step was to finally go to ChatGPT and ask for a rough game plan on how to actually make Fruit Ninja in Unity. The instructions made sense but for some reason ChatGPT kind of repeated itself. But let's just ignore that for now. After creating our Unity project we followed step 1, importing our game assets. Step 2 was to create the main menu and the UI elements and voila. It's not the prettiest, but it does what it's supposed to do. Our next objective was to make fruits appear again and again, so we made a fruit prefab so they spawn more than just once. I mean we don't want one apple and one banana to just appear and then the game just ends, right? Step 4 was probably the most painful process we had while making this game. Making the mechanics. We asked ChatGPT to write us a script that handles the slicing mechanic and the scoring system, but it first gave us some complicated code with ray casts and you didn't slice the fruit but you just clicked on it. It might have Words, but nah, we tried again. And ChatGPT gave us a different approach this time. It looked a lot more promising, so we copied the text and pasted it in. And it actually worked out perfectly. That's what we <laughs> hoped for, at least. The fruits were literally sent flying, so we just told ChatGPT to goddamn fix it. We pasted in the updated code, and they actually behave normal now. As game devs, you spend a good chunk of your time just fixing bugs and fixing problems. And ChatGPT didn't really help with that problem at all. We couldn't slice the fruits and it was programmed to slice when clicking, which wasn't the intended mechanic. So we went back and asked it to change it again. Unity even crashed while doing that. But hey, at least we got a high score of 511 for some reason. We all make mistakes, even in artificial intelligence. So we gave it a second chance. At this point we were teaching the AI to code, not the other way around. It got a little heated, but we managed to get some valuable code out of it. It was honestly the living hell working with ChatGPT. One thing worked, but it destroyed the other things, such as spawning the fruits. ChatGPT did really try though, but literally one fruit spawned. ChatGPT then gave us an update, but it resulted into a waterfall of fruits. We were very frustrated after giving ChatGPT a billion instructions, but we then asked for the finalized version of the entire script, which would spawn multiple fruits, don't send them flying, and have the ability to actually slice them as intended, which obviously didn't work again. After negotiating with ChatGPT, trying to make it understand what we are trying to do, we can finally slice the fruits. It doesn't look clean at all, it doesn't look good, but it works, which we are very happy about. Being almost done with the core mechanics, we kindly ask it to polish it a bit, by making the sliced food drop more naturally, but for some reason it went into teacher mode instead of coding it for us, after giving us the code for all the other things. Convincing it wasn't that hard though, so we just moved on. Look at that, isn't that great? Step 4 was now finally completed. Fruit Ninja does have another mechanic though, the bomb. When you cut through it, the game ends. We implemented that as well with the help of ChatGPT of course. There were some communication issues, but we did figure it out. Moving on, we asked ChatGPT to make a method that keeps track of the lives of the players. The concept is that you have three lives, and every time a fruit is out of the frame without being sliced, the life will be subtracted. We gave these prompts to ChatGPT, and it actually worked for once. It is slowly redeeming itself. If you look closely, the fruits and fruit ninja rotate when they appear, and our fruits certainly don't do that. We gave ChatGPT a prompt to implement that feature and the first version of the code made the fruits just fall down instantly and this version just did that. It does indeed work now though. As you can see we just took the background from the original game because we are lazy. The game was a tad bit too easy though so we asked ChatGPT to up the spawn rate a bit. It is indeed harder now. We are almost done with the game, a little polishing is needed though. So we added, or ChatGPT added, a splash that spawns every time a fruit is sliced. And now a random splash spawns behind the sliced fruit. One of the last things we need is a visible indication of where the cursor was, just as Fruit Ninja has. ChatGPT gladly coded us that part after us correcting it a few times. Last but not least, we added some different particles and some cool sound effects, and it's done. An entire game solely coded with ChatGPT. You can play the game on HIO, link in the description. Click on this video to see us make a Mr. Beast video, subscribe and bye.